Hello friends, today we'll learn about the circulatory system. I see you have an assignment on the circulatory system. Let me help you on this. The system that contains the heart and the blood vessels and carries blood throughout the body is called the circulatory system. Circulatory system is also called the cardiovascular system. See this? It helps tissue get enough nutrients and oxygen and it also helps them get rid of waste products. The circulatory system helps you to fight off disease, helps your body to maintain a normal temperature, and also provides the right chemical balance to provide the body's homeostasis, or state of balance, among all its systems. You know, the circulatory system consists of four major components. Let's have a look at them one by one. The heart. Your heart stays behind the ribs on the left side of your body, just next to the sternum. The purpose of the heart is to pump blood through your body and it keeps the circulatory system working at all times. Normal heart rate varies from person to person, but a normal range for adults is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Arteries. The arteries transport oxygen-rich blood away from the heart and where it needs to go. Pulmonary arteries carry blood that has a low oxygen content from the right ventricle to the lungs. Systemic arteries carry oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the tissues of the body. Veins. Veins carry the deoxygenated blood to the heart. In the heart, it is directed towards the lungs to receive oxygen. Blood. Blood is the transport media of nearly everything within your body. It transports hormones, oxygen, nutrients, antibodies, and various other things needed to keep the body healthy and fit. You're having watermelon. It helps expand blood vessels so that your heart doesn't need to work hard. Oxygen enters into the bloodstream through small membranes in the lungs that absorb oxygen as it is inhaled. As the body uses the oxygen and processes nutrients, it creates carbon dioxide, which your lungs expel as you exhale. The heart and valves create constant pressure throughout the body, and this pressure ensures that veins carry blood to the heart and the arteries transport it away from the heart. Let's have a look at the three different types of circulation that occur regularly in the body. Pulmonary circulation. This part of the cycle transports oxygen-depleted blood away from the heart to the lungs, and again back to the heart. Systemic circulation. This is the part which carries oxygenated blood away from the heart and to other parts of your body. Coronary circulation. This type of circulation delivers the heart with oxygenated blood so it can function appropriately. Can you show the circulatory system's diagram to your friends? Very nice. You have drawn it so perfectly. Your friends can also use this. Now you know a lot about the circulatory system. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.